Well, all observers are agreed on this. It is the point where the competition gets really serious. Top teams now fielding their best available lineups in front of big, big crowds. A lot of noise, great expectation, and the sense that the possibility of silverware is at hand. This is a big chance. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old school feel about it. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Sweden. That was impressive. Match that. So this is where we're up to in the quarter-finals. Already plenty enough to get the juices flowing. All the eight sides still left here are perfectly entitled to think they have a good shot at this, Peter. It is quite an atmosphere here, and that's clearly raised the bar in terms of expectations from the crowd. They genuinely think, or certainly the feel is, that they'll get to see the game of the tournament. And that gets things running. Kia. Poulsen. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Hoiberg. Delaney. Hoiberg. It's found its way to him. Ekdal did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Forsberg. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. Delaney. And here's Eriksson! He's missed, but not by that far. Christian Eriksson usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can, though. Lustig. Christ. Forward it goes. Well, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Fence has got rid of that. Lost. Delaney. Over to the left. Into the box. Not 
puts it away. Denmark have it back and they can go again. And the defence can get it clear. Delaney pings it out wide. Over it comes. Delaney. Looking for a decent ball in. Denmark have had plenty of possession, but few, if any, genuine chances. Delaney cuts a frustrated figure right now. He just cannot get away. Uh, he needs a minder, and one of his teammates should be picking up on that, and quickly. Here's the cross. And he's there to clear it. Ericsson. Hoists it forward. In the end, they found themselves penned in. Nowhere to go. And it's Ekdal. behind for a corner kick cleared away just brushed off the ball there and the ball's come loose and the chase is on Sweden have opted to really stretch the game now yeah that's pretty evident but What's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Receives it from behind. Delaney. He could be in here. And it's played forward. Ekdal. Lost. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Forsberg. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and... Tries a shot! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Ericsson goes short. Turns and goes. Oh, shooting chance! Good clearance and very necessary. He's in space and looking for options. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Knocks it away. And it's Ericsson. Short goes for goal! Goal! Denmark! Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Denmark 
have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Ekdal. Forward it goes. Lustig plays it forward. Played into the middle. And out to safety. And that's been one straight back. Larson. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. but how about the touch it just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it and the rest became a formality Sweden grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Christensen goes looking. Delaney plays it over to the other flank. Forsberg. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Loss. Larson. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. Hoiberg. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. That's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each. So once again, we're underway. Denmark can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hector. Lustig. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, good interception. Christensen. Kia. Christensen. Kia. Poulsen. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And it's Ekdal. Berg. Ektal looking to run onto it.
Poulsen. Hoists it forward. Played out to the right. Now the cross. Denmark making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. Loss. Uh, ball needed to be better there. That's a wasted chance. And it's been taken straight back. Out to the left it goes. Get the better of his opposite number. Ericsson. Sweden uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Nothing but a skill there. Steered in. Ektal is there to heave it away. Gone out for a throw in. Ericsson. Oh, that's nice. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Berg. Delaney does well there. Alert. Ericsson. No foul, says the referee. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Lawson. Lustig. Lawson. Ekdal. And it's Larsen. Larsen. Lustig. Ericsson. Out to the right. Time to deliver. Now it's a chance! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. He's there to clear it. Lovely feet. And that's been levered clear. Ericsson plays it short. Hoiberg. Away from immediate danger. Hoiberg. Kia. Kia gets it forward. And it's hoisted clear. And the counter is on. And it's Ektal. Sweden showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. And helps available out wide.
And the ball's come out. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Tries one! Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Cleared away. Hoiberg. Has a hit! And that's a real chance missed. Or well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. Christensen. A game with so much to recommend it. Fabulous contest, but still no clear winner. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go for it territory right now. Kia. Christensen. Played in with accuracy. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Forward it goes. Delaney has created one goal already. And it's Ericsson. Shoots! And again, the keeper stands strong. There's going to be another change here. I think this is going to add an entirely different dimension to their attack now. They've got the physical presence, they've got a real aerial threat, and uh, it looks more promising from here. Ericsson, now the cross. And out it comes again. Schurner, great strength, too strong for his opponent. Has a pop! So calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a eel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now oh, you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. The changes then in quick succession. Denmark take what look. And that is that. Denmark through to the last four. Just two more steps now. They have got a crack at it. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Denmark made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today.